Hello, my name is Dominic Lee. Today we're going to talk about Cisco Network Security with software and hardware. First, let's talk about software security. It is important to use a reputable server operating system since trusted operating systems have stronger security than a foreign operating system. We want to use a secure transfer protocol when transferring files to the server, such as FTP or SSH. Telnet and HTTP clients have been known to be unreliable. We want to use a strong SSL encryption method using certificates. You want the client to have peace of mind and assurance that your company is securely transferring their information without the risk of trespassers. Finally, we want to limit the number of super users on the server. The less administrators, the less trouble. We want to use a strong password. The basic principle includes that a strong password is more than eight characters, involves one capital and at many lowercase letters with at least one special character, such as a question mark, exclamation mark, etc. We want to monitor the server usage and user activities to prevent data loss or unauthorized data usage of network resources. Also, avoid using default ports for sensitive information. Disable the root directory to prevent modification to critical files, and also, you want to update the latest firmware for the latest software. Finally, we want to keep the timeout and max client levels low to prevent DDoS attack. A DDoS attack is when a client rapidly loads the website in the user IP address and to the extent that their server crashes. Do not install unnecessary programs and services. If it's not required, remember, it could be possibly a security hazard. Finally, we want to back up settings and databases regularly. This, to this day, this task seems like one that most administrators do not do. Hello, my name is Arian Akbar, and I will be your host today to talk about Cisco networking security and give you a few tips. Let's first begin with server security. Always store servers in a secure environment. Remember to lock them in a room to prevent unauthorized access. Next, you should configure the system to restrict physical access to prevent being hijacked. Make sure to disable physical access to foreign hardware because there could be consequences. Another quick tip, always use a UPC or search protector whenever possible. Also, network administrators should use spanning retrieval protocol, aka STP, to prevent network loopbacks. A loopback? What's a loopback? I'll tell you what it is. A loopback can result in detrimental effects to the network. Now, we're going to talk about local client security. In terms of hardware, always protect the BIOS. And we also want to disable booting from CD by default. You never know when someone is booting off an external operating system. We want to use a Kensington lock in public places. And finally, always remember to use wired networking when possible. Here at Apple, we are obsessed with breaking new boundaries, and today, we throw all of that out the window, and yet somehow, still break boundaries. We have found a way to sell the exact same iPhone a year later, changing nothing but the name, and sell millions. And we call it the iPhone 5 S. The S stands for same. We think you're really gonna love it. Take a look. Isn't it revolutionary? To create the new iPhone, we started with a design that we really loved, and then stopped. The iPhone 5 has been hailed as the best phone of all time, because people said so. What this tells us is that people don't really want change. Their love for Siri proves that ignorance is bliss. They still want to go on unforeseen adventures with Apple Maps. And they still prefer the phone to auto hang up on phone calls with annoying friends. So it would be stupid to change what is already perfection. The iPhone 5S is the best iPhone that we've ever created because of all the reasons. Actually, we did change one thing. Your existing cables will no longer work. Introducing the magical new cable, the Lightning. S. Now that we're back, we're going to talk about client networking security. It is imperative that all computers should have a trusted antivirus software installed at all times. 
Also, network administrators should connect the client using static routing whenever possible. To maximize network security, clients should avoid connecting using a wireless network use, uh, unless necessary. When a Wi-Fi network is established, network administrators must ensure that their network is password protected with the WPA or AES protocol. WEP passwords are easily hackable and are not recommended. In addition, clients should be aware that public wireless networks are unsafe. They should not log into an encrypted website with a public network. Information that is not encrypted can be viewed by potential hackers on the network. This can be very dangerous. Finally, clients should not open unknown files from flash drives or emails. Caution to be taken to scan files with antivirus software before opening them on the computer. Users should back up their files on a regular basis to prevent data loss. This concludes the essentials for building a secure network. I'm Arian Akbar. Thank you for watching and remember, stay classy, Casper.